Good morning, friends. Today I am going to demonstrate about the OSPF multi area and redistribution behavior for the segment routing. As we discussed in the earlier ISIS video, we are propagating routes from the either from level 2 to level 1 or from the level 1 to level 2. It doesn't make any difference from the segment routing perspective. While propagating these routes to the other level, it advertised the segment ID along with the prefix. Same thing is applicable for the OSPF areas as well. So today I am going to use this lab where R1 and R2 is part of area 1, R2 and R3 is part of the area 0, R3 and R4 is part of area 2, where R4 is acting as a ASBR where it is getting redistributed the BGP prefixes. So first we will see the eBGP IP4 prefixes and then in the later part of this video we will convert it to the label unicast and we will see how it impact on the segment routing or its behavior. So R1 has neighborship with the R2, R2 has neighborship with R3 and R1. R3 has neighborship with the R2 and R4 and R4 has neighborship with the R3 and its R4 is running the BGP IP4 with R5 and it's learning the prefix R5 and advertising the R1, R2, R3, R4 prefix to the R5. So R5 is learning all those prefixes here. Let's check the OSPF database to see how these multiple areas has impact on the segment routing seeds, seed information. So all those other areas segment routing information has been propagated in the type 10 opaque area link state LSA. And type 5 this is for the external for the prefix R5. So let's see the opaque area LSA. So advertising router here is the R2 because it's ABR. So it's advertising the sRGB values. So this is R2, it's seed index along with the some flags it, this is r3 prefix along with the cd index value 3 with some flags advertised by r2 prefix r4 some flags has been set there this is route type 3 cd index value 4 along with some flags and that's it. If we check the forwarding table, so we have the R2, R3, R4 
and this is the agency seat between the R1 and R2. So agency seat in area 0 and 2 will not be propagated into the area 1. Same thing it happened with the ISIS as well which we verified in the earlier lab. So if we check the segment routing So if we trace route the pole So all the routers are using the segment IDs for the R4. But let's say the scenario is there for R5 where we are redistributing the IPv4 address and we need the segment routing seed for that information as well. So let's try to configure R4 as the mapping server because mapping server is required where the destination is the not in the segment routing domain. So it could be in the LDP domain or it could be the IP4 domain because segment routing understand only the seed value. And when prefix comes from the other domain into the segment routing domain, it will not understand and if we want to implement the segment routing behavior on that prefix, we need the seed value for that and to advertise seed value, we need the mapping server. So mapping server is just the, uh, it is in the control plane only like what route reflector works in the case of IB uh, in the case of the IBGP. So let's configure the mapping server for the prefix R5. For the prefix R5 and then index value should be 5. We don't need any range here. And then we need to advertise into the OSPF. So we don't need to enable this receive or we need we don't need to configure these receivers on the router because by default it is on. We just need to configure to advertise it on the mapping server. So if we check the complete configuration here, segment routing mapping server, prefixed map, address family, prefix and its index. And we need to advertise it under the IGP. Before that we can check show OSPF segment routing pref segment routing prefixed map active policy. So we don't have any active policy here. So let's commit this one and let's see if it if can propagate that information towards the R1 because we see that R4 is part of the area 2 and R1 is part of the area 1. So let's see is there any implication what we saw in the case of ISIS where that level 1 level 2 router should be acting as a mapping server. But let's see if it OSPF can propagate the mapping server information to the other areas as well. Yes. So the R4 is part of area 2 but that information is getting propagated in all the areas. So we can see that 
R1 is learning the R5 prefix along with the CD index value. And if we check the forwarding table, it should populate there. Yes. And if we trace route the segment routing MPLS for prefix 5, it should work. Yes. So all the routers are using the segment routing, routing lab IDs. But last stop don't have any IDs, so hence it is saying that no label between R4 and R5. But let's configure the eBGP e between R4 and R5 as a label IP4 unicast. And let's see how it reacts. So in this scenario, if we check the database, Advertising router is 2. And if we check for the prefix 5, yep. So that is part of the opaque LSA type 10, opaque area link LSA. Even though we are redistributing it, but we are using the mapping server to advertise it. Hence, it is part of the opaque area link LSA. So it is advertising the CD index value for R5. So let's check the packet capture for that. So this is the packet capture for the mapping server. So if we see that it is advertised by 2, advertising router is 2, flag is inter area flag and then here again no PHP and mapping server flag is set but in the case of ISIS we don't have any mapping server flag there and then here seed index value for the prefix R5. So if we talk about the OPEC area LSA that is type 10. So if we see here R2 has advertised the R4 information in that LSA. Note flag is the note flag has been said. Address prefix is 444. And here no PHP flag has been said. It's not acting as a mapping server means this entry the R1 didn't learn this uh, entry from the mapping server hence it is 0 and we can see here that seed index value R4 that is 4 And this is the entry for R5 inter area flag. And now let's convert the BGP between R4 and R5 to the label unicast and let's see.
um, this is the configuration for the BGP label unicorns and let's configure it on this side as well So even though we have configured the label unicast, but still we will not see the label for that. Let's see what is the reason behind that. Show BGP IPU for label unicast summary. It is up. We are getting the routes. And let's see on the R4. Show BGP IPU for label unicast yes we are getting two routes so let's check the detail for that route and we can see that we received the label 3 because it is configured as a label unicast but we don't have the seed information for that so let's try to configure it and before that we need the routing policy and we need to pass the seed value there set label index seed dollar seed and then instead of redistribute connect we can advertise that using the network command so let's see network file and then route policy set and push that index value if we see the complete configuration so we have configured this route policy and we are attaching to the network statement for the r5 so let's commit it and let's see So oh, clear IP BGP star soft in or out clear BGP IP for label in cast star soft. Let's see. Now you are able to see the label index value five. For the prefix 5 and let's see if it is getting propagated till the r1 yes so, so did we remove the okay so we need to remove this information from here now because now we don't need any mapping server because we are running the label unicast with the r5 and it should advertise the label in index value no segment routing prefix set map advertise local if we see that we are removing the mapping server so let's check here about the r5 oops let's check the route for the ospf for the five yes we are getting that so which it should be learned via the opec as type 11 lsa so let's check the database mm -hmm. let's check the configuration on the r5 where I am running the label unicast 
with the RFO and advertising the network 5.5.5.5 using this route policy if you see the route policy this is just to pass that label index parameter it's up and we are learning some prefixes from r4 so let's check on the r4 so we are learning four prefixes from it and if we check the prefix 5 so we are learning the label index 5 and then implicit null value for that and then we are redistributing that prefixes into the OSPL so let's check the OPEC ASLSA and yes we are able to see the prefix 5 along with its index value and some flags has been said this 6 is the router which i configure later for the just for testing purpose which is connected to the r5 that's why we you see the one more pre uh, prefixes under the opec a a s type 11 lsa let's check it on the r1 so it's advertised by r4 prefix is r5 and index value is 5 with some flags has been set and the same for the six prefix so if we check the forwarding table yes so we could see that label value for r5 and if we trace root it we are good so here you are seeing the two implicit null because we have configured this static route for the label unicast family to work in the data plane but you can see that all routers are using the 16005 level which every router figure out based on the index value and srgb value If we check the packet capture for that, so it's saying prefix 5 AS external and then here is the seat level for that. I hope you enjoy this session. Thank you very much for watching and if you have any query or comment please type it below thank you very much